Faith leaders across Jacksonville participated in the Freedom Ride Tour tonight. It's a campaign to express the importance of voting and reflect on what the Freedom Riders did 60 years ago. The tour kicked off in Jacksonville and will head to these five cities across the country. Our Christina Burgess attended tonight's service and spoke with faith leaders about this Freedom Tour. A night filled with praise and worship at First Baptist Church of Oakland. The church's pastor, Dr. Christopher McKee Jr. says this service is about rejoicing and also informing the community about the importance of voting. The, the right to vote is, is still uh, our greatest responsibility in this democracy and doing everything we can to not only protect that right, but utilize that right is critical. Uh, and so as much as we're going to lift up our savior tonight, we're gonna lift up the importance of voting. The National Council of Churches is here to help spread the message. The council is at stop one on their Freedom Ride tour. In 1964, the NCC went into the South to register people to vote, and they've continued to do so since. Back then, people were beaten, churches and businesses were burned, and lives were lost. Which is why the council's president and general secretary, Bishop Vashti McKenzie, says showing up at the ballot box is vital. Too many people died, too many people, too much blood was shed. This is America, and it's important for all voices to be represented at the ballot box. When only a few voices are heard, that leaves out a whole lot of needs in people who need to be represented. Their goal is to educate, engage, and empower voters, not just for this upcoming election, but all elections. It is a right, a right that our ancestors fought for, uh, died for, uh, and it's very important for us to honor that and to continue to live, that, live out that legacy. In Jacksonville, Christina Burgess, First Coast News, on your side. And the National Council of Churches will continue to engage the community to vote. It's holding its community-wide voter registration and empowerment session. That's tomorrow at 10 a.m. at First Baptist Church of Oakland.